Wake up and make each day count. You do everything right. Drink four liters of water a day, eat a well-balanced, healthy diet, aiming for 30% protein, 20 fat, and 50 carbs. Sleep, eh, seven hours. Meditate, 10 minutes. Take meds daily, go to therapy twice a week and engage in healthy coping mechanisms and creative outlets as time allows. Be aware of your breath. Count each step as you walk to work. An old exercise from childhood days. Timing it to the rhythm of your steps to her inhale, to her exhale. The same rate I use for my runs half the rate of what it was when I was six or maybe five when I first started counting. Today I counted 212 before my mind wandered and I lost count. 212 movements of the lungs, 106 breaths, and 428 steps before my vision blurred with tears called forth by the cold wind and spurred by indistinct sadness. My face is numb by the time I reach it, but I don't mind. It feels right, unlike the effect wreaking havoc in my mind. Prepare the tissue culture plates. Count carefully to 12 as you dispense precisely half a milliliter of magenta liquid into each well, creating a cozy matrix for cells to come. You hope they grow well and cooperate as you coax them into a new identity. You wish the same for yourself, but you find yourself struggling to differentiate between what's real and what's not. When nothing seems real, everything is. The words echo softly in my mind. I dispose the serological pipette into a red biohazard bin and watch as my sense of self tumbles after it with a deafening clatter. Count every calorie and each bite. Chew methodically, mechanically. Smile when called upon to interact, counting down the time until you must return to the performance of duty and diligence. Count the minutes gone missing, swallowed by the nothingness ringing in your ears. Lose count. And start again. Count the subway stops, streets progressing at odd intervals. You cannot afford to miss your stop again. Count, count each bar of rest, watching the conductor carefully as he navigates through changing time signatures and fluctuating tempos. Back straight, eyes alert. Viola down, lips softly moving to keep track of this long pause. Here, too, the count of time is lost to a wandering mind, and others in the section must signal when to start. It's easier to read those signals, however imprecise than the odd time to painful pangs within my own heart. I feel its slow beat and lose count of all the things I try to do right. Steady rhythm, hammering and fracturing my mind, it picks up pace you're home, you're home. You count each step as you go up the stairs. 
12 per long flight, 4 per short, 20 per floor, 40 total, not including the ones on the porch. Oh my god, you forgot to count those! Wash your hands, shake off the water three times, three times, three times, dry each hand three times, three times, three times, twice, and as you backslide on the spectrum of sanity. Take a sterile scalpel blade and count each cut without an end in sight. Four or five or ten, nineteen or twenty-one or thirty-five without a pattern and out of mind. These, these don't count. They won't scar, I tell myself, but uh, it, it's a lie. Feeling nothing but the shallow sting of pooling blood I ask myself, did this day count?